Richardson. So we're going to talk about the great challenges of a small country. And not every day you can actually hear someone talking about how the country is deploying their strategy about innovation. So his role actually right now is Secretary of State for Economic Di Di Diversification. He's director at a program that's called Actua Business Initiative. Previous to that, which is quite interesting, is our next speaker was working for Nike, among other things. And he's been for some years, not anymore, but for some years, the CFO of a basketball club in Andorra. So please welcome our next speaker, Josep Maria Mise. Big applause. Allí, gracias. Hello, all of you. Uh, thank you very much for being here today. It's, it's really a pleasure for a, for a small country like Andorra to have the opportunity today to show you the project of modernizing the Andorran economy that we, that we have done during the five uh, last years. But, but before going into the details of the project, let, let me give you some, some information about Andorra in order you can shape your view of the country because sometimes you get data that is not correct. So Andorra, it's a really tiny country in the middle of the Pyrenean. It's a country that has 78,000 inhabitants. We have a surface of 468 square kilometers. And we are really close to Barcelona in Spain and Toulouse in France. We are more or less 200 kilometers away of each city. We have Euro as official currency. We speak Catalan. And we are a really safe country. We have also a prosperous life. It is a good place to live. We have a GDP per capita that is approximately $47,000. And, and as I said before, it's really a good place to live. It's a, a country that crime doesn't exist. We have a low rate of crime. And we have a, we have a cosmopolitan population. It means that we are used to work with people coming from other countries. Nearly 50% of the population is not Andorran. So that's an important fact to retain because it's something to take into consideration when you come to Andorra, OK? But let's talk quickly about economics. Andorra is, is a, the, the Andorran economy, it's more or less 2,500 euros, million euros, the GDP of Andorra, which is quite good for a small country. Our public debt is more or less 60%. Well, you're going to say probably that it's quite good if you compare it to the other European countries that have bigger debts. But you have to take into consideration that we are small. So when we, when we don't have a so balanced economy as a big country have. We, we have an economy that is strong related to tourism. So nearly 60% of the GDP is related to tourism or similar activities. It means that if we have, if we have a, a huge decrease in the number of visitors, we are probably have, uh, we will probably, we will sure have a problem in the economics. So we, we started here a program considering two different ways. On the first hand, we needed to diversify our tourist base. It means we were considered as a winter destination. We started working for being an all-year-round destination. On the other hand, we needed to diversify this economy. We needed to find new activity sectors in order to be less dependent on tourism. So that's why we did a huge change in 2012, and we allowed in Andorra foreign direct investment, because it's impossible to build new sectors if we have to find all the investment inside Andorra. So that's why we decided to change the law in 2012. To give you an idea, before this year, for a foreign investor, it was impossible to own a company in Andorra. You needed to have a local partner. So right now, no matter where the investor comes from, no matter the, 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 the amount of the investment, a foreign investor can own a company in Andorra. No? We, we are performing quite well since the approval of the law. We are more or less getting 3.4% versus GDP of foreign direct investment. So that's that's the, that's the results of the project. But it wasn't the only part. We, we changed the complete uh, tax framework. We created a modern framework in order to make easy for the companies understand the taxes 
we, we created a framework that is really simple because we need companies to understand how easy it is to come to Andorra. So for that reason, we created a tax corporate, which is quite simple and really competitive. We created also some uh, revenues on the personal incomes. And most important, we started signing non-double tax agreement with other countries in order to facilitate the investment and the business between countries to avoid double imposition. That was uh, all that was all the framework that we created from a legal perspective. But we know that the world is not, a, is not expecting Andorra to change its law to come to invest. So we needed to be proactive and start finding foreign direct investment. That's why we created the Actua program. The Actua program was an initiative that we started four years ago in order to promote the Andorran economy and to diversify the Andorran economy. And we started this project working in working with clusters. We think that clusters is a really good tool to improve the competitiveness of the companies. It's a good tool to build really strong economies. So that's why we started promoting clusters. First one was a cluster about wellness and health. We want to be recognized as a medical destination. So that's why we started working with some private operators that come and invested in Andorra. You're going to hear probably in the future more about, about, about us because we want to start selling, we want to start sell the product ne the first semester next year. Second cluster we created was the, the sports cluster. It's a cluster, Andorra, Andorra is well recognized because we have some really good sportsmen li living there. We have some good events happening in Andorra. We have, for example, La Vuelta and Tour de France. We have also some uh, companies developing products and services, but we are not recognized as a destination or as a, as a sports destination. So we want to work on, the, on this. We want companies to come to Andorra and work in this sector. And finally, finally sorry, we also promoted an education uh, cluster. We, 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 re we really think it's important that the knowledge of all this process is keeping Andorra. That's why we started and we developed this cluster. And finally, probably the cluster where the government invested more is the innovation cluster. We, we try to promote Andorra as a living lab. It's a really good place where companies can test and promote their solutions. So that's why we started a unique collaboration with MIT. We started this unique collaboration one year ago to develop three different projects. First one is we started building a big data with MIT, a big data that contains all the information about telecommunications of the country, all energy information, all mobility information, all the statistical information coming from the government, and even some information coming from uh, the different minister, ministries of the government. We are working right now in getting all retail store information in this big data. So it's a big data that from the government perspective we are using as an analytic tool, but we want to put this, we want to deliver this big data to the private sector in order that we, create, we can create some business models to, to, for uh, small companies to develop some applications and some solutions. And that's a big asset for us. That's the first project, a big data. We also, that's a view of, uh, of the big data. We, we also created a model where we can analyze all the information. For example, one of the views of this model that we are using in the government is how tourists move around the country. Uh, the blue ones are the French visitors, the, the orange one are the Spanish one, and you're going to see some massification in the center that represents a day in the summer where the event of the Cirque du Soleil happens. So we, we can analyze how people move around the event and, and what they do before and after the event. That's a really useful tool for the government, and we want to use it also with the private sector to develop solutions and, and services. Okay? We are also working in an autonomous vehicle. It's a project we started this September. This, this autonomous vehicle is uh, capable of moving people around the, around the country. And we also want to move products. 
So uh, it's, it's kind of a solution. We want to use it for both things, for the day to, to move people. During the night, for example, we, we can get all your shopping to your hotel. So that's one of the ideas we are developing with MIT. We started this idea last week of September in Andorra with the first test of this vehicle. It's a huge step for us. So it's one of the ideas we wanted to show to you in order to give you the idea that we are an innovative country. Okay? So if, if you want to hear more about us, please uh, come to visit us. We, we have a stand here uh, with all the Actua team. We will be happy to explain you more in detail all these projects, all, all the work we are doing to promote the Andorran economy, and we are, with, we are going to be happy to discuss your projects and your ideas. We also have some Andorran startups here uh, around showing their products and solutions, so we are, we are going to be happy to, to introduce to them. Okay? Thank you all very much, all of you, for coming, and we see you around. Anyone want to take any, any questions? Sorry. I mean, you yes, have time. I, I forgot, I forgot. You guys are going so fast, it's like it's no time yet. You have seven minutes yet. Okay, let's take some questions. Come on, guys. No questions? What are the next steps? What are the next steps? In the what? future. Well, we have here for the next steps in, the, in talking about the projects. Okay, I mean, I, I think you are talking about projects or, or uh, not, not the whole strategy. For, for the projects, we, we are thinking in creating some uh, deliverables. I mean, we have the big data, but we are only using it from from the government perspective. We are using it to analyze uh, the information we have and to take decisions. We wanna the, we want the private sector to use it. So. Uh, the idea is try to find a business model between the, the public and the private sector in order that each other can feel comfortable and develop solutions. That's, that's the idea for this project. For the PEV, the, the autonomous vehicle, we have to keep working. I mean, that's, that's a project in development. We, we don't know if it's going to take one, three, or five years to develop fully the project. So we have to continue improving the technology, doing some tests, and see what happens in the following years. OK? Any no more questions? OK, Giuseppe, thank you thank very you much. much. Big applause.